Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Keeping Up With BB here and today I'm just going to be doing a quick video. I have some branded content to film today and I just wanted to show you two newer products that I've been using that there's been a lot of buzz around them and I just want to show you what shades I got, what they look like on me and what I think about the products and how they perform. So one of the main products I'm gonna be talking about today is the new Milk Makeup Bionic Bronzer. I have mine in the deepest shade, Invincible. And I also have the new KVD Good Apple Concealer in the shade Tan 169. So if those are two products you're interested in, then just keep on watching. The first thing I'm gonna go in with is the Lip Bar Just a Tint to have a nice base to work with today. And I haven't been able to put this down. This has been one of my favorite skin tints this year i have the shade honey dip and it's just a really nice lightweight tint like it says just a tint but it kind of has it has some pretty good coverage to be a skin tint as you can see here and the shade works really really well for me and i love the price point of this skin tint as well you can find it at target for 17.99 which i find to be rather budget friendly compared to its competitors and it's a black owned brand as well. So that's always a plus for me. And I'm using my Rare Beauty foundation brush. I love this brush. I waited a while to pick it up. I ended up getting it during the VIB sale last year, the last one they had in November. And it's a really, really nice brush. I haven't been using really any other foundation brushes since I got this one and I really like it a lot. It spreads the product out nice and evenly and you don't get any streaks. This is what my skin looks like with just the skin tint and I really like the finish of this. It's a little bit dewy but it's not overly dewy. I, I really really like it and I would highly recommend you check it out if you're in the market for a new skin tint. So now I'm going to go on with the new Good Apple Concealer and the claims of this concealer is it's crease resistant, it's supposed to be full coverage, and most importantly lightweight. It's supposed to be a lightweight concealer that's going to give you all some really nice coverage. I have used it once I think, once or twice now, and I put it on on my Instagram uh, stories and kind of just uh, showed the wear throughout the day of how it looked. So I'm just going to do that one little swipe on each side here and I did wipe off the excess into the bottle. I really like the design of the bottle too actually and there is some you kind of have to pull it out to get it out so it's going to be one of those concealers that's not really going to give you a lot of mess since there is some pulling that you have to do to actually get the cap out. So now I'm going to go on with my Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. I really like this brush as well. The design is just like the foundation brush, but significantly smaller, kind of shaped like a finger so that you can get in there and really get some good concealing without having to use your hands. So I'm going to tap on the concealer gently and see what kind of coverage I can get. I went in store when I purchased this and I swatched shades around this one and this one seemed to be the best for my undertone the one the other ones around it were just either too yellow or too orange i found this one to be the most neutral and this one is for neutral olive undertones i believe tan 169 so as you can see there i get some pretty good coverage with just that one little swipe of concealer and it really is lightweight like you cannot really feel it under the eye and what i really really noticed about this concealer when i did my wear test on instagram i did a 13 hour wear test it was 13 hours and some change and i had no creasing like no creasing and i was really really impressed because i am starting to notice some fine lines right here under my eyes and my Kosas concealer has been settling in those fine lines lately. And I was really impressed and excited to see that I didn't get creasing with this one uh, particularly. And I also 
did not set this concealer. It seems to be a little self-setting to me, to be honest. And I've always been somebody who has set my concealer. But I noticed that with this concealer, you kind of get a blurred look just upon application, as you can see here. And um, I, I think I'll set it today. I've never set it before the two times that I've worn it. I will set it today just to see if that will make a difference with the crease resistance of it. And I'm just, I just took a little bit more off right here just to put right here at the end of my eye for just a little bit more brightening. I really don't need any more. I just want to. And I'm going to take a little bit more right here on the brush as well. Go on this side. I can see this tube lasting me a very, very long time because you do not need a lot of product to get the coverage. At least the coverage that I want or need. I don't see that this is gonna, you know, I see that this is gonna last me a long time. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna take any excess kind of like down here around the mouth area for any extra brightening. And now I'll take my sponge just to make sure all that is set down just ever so lightly. To set under the eye, I will be using my Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil Press Setting Powder in Sheer Tan. And I'm just gonna take this small fluffy brush, get a little bit of product here, tap off any excess, and just lightly set, not a lot, just, just like that, to see if I can tell a difference with the crease resistance claim with the powder. Maybe it'll make it even more crease resistant. Maybe it won't, but that's why I want to try this out to see. Now I want to go in with the Milk Makeup Bionic Bronzer. I was surprised at how large this tube is. This is 0.6 fluid ounces, and I did receive this in PR via Octoly, and I did a reel on my Instagram. I'll put it right here so that you can see it, and follow me on Instagram if you like my content here because I actually produce quite a bit on Instagram because reels are so short and quick I'm able to make those videos more often so I'm gonna show y'all what this looks like now I'm gonna take a little bit right here on the back of my hand you don't need a lot of this product and it is more of like a gel as you can see here I'm going to spread it out so you can see the color it's quite neutral and I, that's what I really like about it. Almost leaning cool. It is a bronzer, so it's not too cool, but it's a nice neutral tone for me. And I'm just taking this really small fluffy brush. I think it's more of like a concealer brush. It's kind of like a mini version of a foundation brush. And I'm just going to lightly bronze there. And as you can see, it just gives me a nice little warmth and a little bit of a contour because of the shade. And I'm going to take some more put it here so you can see the how it looks. I really like this product because it's sheer. So if you're new to liquids, gels, and creams, the more fluid products, I think this will be a really good product for you to start out with because it is so sheer. You kind of, you really can't mess this up. And even if you put too much on, you can just go in with your foundation brush on top of it and it'll, you know, kind of disperse the product around and you really won't even be able to see it. So that's what it looks like. It is very dewy, as you can see here. And another thing that I like about this product is it's a lot more stiff than I thought it was going to be. It's, it's definitely a gel. It's not a liquid. So I like that aspect of it and you kind of get more control because it is a gel and it just blends out super, super quickly, super easily. And it leaves a really nice, smooth, glossy, almost glossy finish on the skin, dewy slash glossy, as you can see here. So if you're one of those dewy makeup lovers, you're going to love this. But if you're not a dewy, if you're not a dewy makeup person, then... I would not recommend this product for you, but I do like dewy makeup, so I do really like this product. And if you're around my skin tone or deeper or even lighter because it is quite sheer, I think this will work for you. The next shade, um, there's only three shades. I, they do need some more shades in this, but the middle shade is more of a 
um, kind of like a golden, a reddish golden tone. And I have a lot of bronzers like that. So I kind of wanted to see what this shade looked like on me. This is, like I said, it's more of a neutral, um, almost cool bronzer. And lately I've been liking to bring my bronzer a little bit higher here on the cheek area. And if you get too much, like I said, you could just use your foundation brush to kind of counteract that. And any excess that I have on the back of my hand, I'll just take it on the brush and kind of just lightly go around the edge here. And then use my foundation brush to kind of blend it out. Because I don't like too much bronzer down here these days. So there's the bronzer. Oh, and I do like to put a little bit right here on my nose. And under the brow area. It looks a little bit darker on this side of my face just because I don't have a window on the right side. But I do have a window here on the left side. So... Just keep that in mind. So now I'm going to go in with one of my new favorite blushes and this is the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Blush. I had never tried these before but I purchased this one in Rose Latte and I think Summertime Wine and I'm loving Rose Latte. It's right up my alley with the types of blush colors that I enjoy wearing on my cheeks. So I'm going to just rub my middle finger in there. And what I have found about these Fenty Cream Blushes is they're a lot more sheer than I was expecting them to be. So again, if you're new to cream products, I think this is a really good introductory cream blush for you because it's so sheer, you really can't mess it up. And now I'm just gonna go in with the brush on this side so that you can see what I mean by how sheer it is. It kind of just gives you a really nice wash of color on the cheeks there. Had a little bit left on my finger. And I just love this color. It's definitely one of those more natural, almost natural blushing colors I would get on my cheeks if I got hot and with a tan. So I really like this. Color. For the eyes, I'm going to keep it really simple today. I'm just going to go in with my Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Liquid Eyeshadow in Nearly Mauve. And I'm just going to go directly in with the brush like this. And I'm actually going to use their brush. I recently got their brush, so I want to see how it works with the liquid eyeshadow. To be honest, I really like using a fluffy brush with this particular eyeshadow just because I feel like a fluffy brush kind of disperses the product really nicely for you. But I think this brush came out with this product, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I don't... I actually like a fluffy brush, so let me grab one. And if you don't really know anything about these eyeshadows, they're super user-friendly. I don't... I think I meant for this video to turn out to be a user-friendly liquid cream gel video, but it kind of turned into that because every product I've used here today is quite easy to use. You can't really mess them up. Um, so maybe I'll put that in the title of today's video as well, that these are all kind of user-friendly liquid makeup products. Yeah, see what I mean by the fluffy brush? It kind of just blends it out for you and it leaves a really nice wash of color on the lids. And I'm gonna put a little bit more since I did go in with two layers on the left eye. Really pretty. There we go. See how quick that was? Now I'm going to curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and I'll be right back. So I've put on mascara and now I'm going to be using the Fit Glow Beauty brow gel in the shade dark brown for my brows and I actually really like this brow gel it is more on the wet side so you kind of have to wipe off excess product from the brush before you go in 
but I do like the color that it gives my brows. And I like to use this one when I want a little bit more tint to my brows as well. So that's what it looks like with and without. And I'm going on the other side. Brows are done and I can go ahead and already tell y'all that I prefer the KBD Good Apple Concealer without setting powder. And I never thought I'd see the day that I'd say that because I've always been a setter under the eyes. But setting, is at least with that powder, the Bare Minerals one, it does kind of start to settle in. And it's not the concealer, I don't think, that's really settling. It's the powder that's settling on top of the concealer that's causing the creasing. So if you don't, if you're not oily, I don't think you need to set this. And if you are oily, then you probably have a setting powder that you know doesn't crease that much on you. And you can see how it works with this specific concealer. I find that the only setting powder that doesn't cause any settling for me is the Range Beauty Translucent Setting Powder. I use the shade Deep Golden or Golden Light, something like that. But I ran out of that product, so I don't have it anymore. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that. You know, I don't know if that's something that's specific to this concealer that it will it will crease when you use a setting powder on top. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to be using a setting powder with this specific concealer. And if I do find one that doesn't cause that, I'll give y'all an update. So now I'm going to go in with the Dior Lip Glow in the shade Mahogany. I don't think I've shown this on my channel yet. I haven't had it that long. Take any makeup off I may have on my lips but I really like the color I didn't think this would show up on me but it does and it has like a peppermint scent a little bit of a taste to it as well so there is today's finished look showing you some new products that I have really been enjoying I hope you guys like this look and this really sweet and quick video that I wanted to get ready. I wanted to get ready in front of the camera today since I needed to put on makeup anyways and I wanted to share those products with you as well. I hope you're all doing well and have been enjoying my decluttering videos. I still need to do eye products and that's coming soon. I just haven't gotten around to it. So I hope you're all well and I'll catch y'all next time. This was Keeping Old BB.